Welcome to our series G Data IT Talk. Today's topic will be the Underground Economy 3.0. I very much welcome G Data Security Evangelist Eddie Williams. Hello. Hello. First question please tell us about the risk of infection with malware. Well, the risk of infection with malware at this moment is very high. Uh, we see over 400,000 samples each day and uh, we got over 400 million of infected samples actually. Um, so it's, it's really a very high risk and actually that's also part of the reason why I created a law for that. A law? Okay. Yeah. Actually uh, a cyber problem uh, is really related to what I call the technological factor and the human factor. If you take one of those away, well, actually, then you don't have a cyber problem anymore or you lose the risk of infection. But uh, what are the main driving factors of cybercrime? Well, the main driving factor of cybercrime is really private data. Private data is just like the oil of cybercrime. And uh, it's not only private data of a home user, but it's also data of the companies, organizations. And of course, all that data is being sold at this moment in the underground in what we call black market. Why a black market? Well, you can't sell, of course, those special data in shopping malls. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why cyber criminals go to black markets. Mm -hmm. And in black markets, of course, you have some uh, specialized black markets where you can just sell and buy just nearly everything. Money laundering is also a big problem. Please name some possibilities to inject the money in the real world. Yes, one of the things uh, for money laundering, it's very important that uh, most of the, the stuff which you have sold or bought, everything is put into bitcoins these days. But bitcoins is a virtual kind of money, so you need to get this into real money. So what most of uh, the cyber criminals are doing is they are just looking up what they call uh, in an ATM machine mm. map on the internet. Okay. There are ATM machines to get your money from bitcoins into real money in every country. Let's talk about regular businesses. How can businesses protect themselves against the particular risk of infection? Well, very important, of course, is uh, to have a very good basic protection. And the basic protection is really having the, a, a good security solution in place, meaning having an antivirus, anti-malware protection in place on just every operating system on just every machine in your company. That's the most important thing. Second thing is, of course, having something like a protection on your gateways as well. If you have something like that, I think that's the very good step. Uh, eventually, a second step is, of course, what we call human awareness. And if you have both combined, you have a perfect solution. Eddie Williams, thank you very much for this interesting insight into the underground economy 3.0 and thank you for watching our series and I would be very pleased to welcome you to our next G-Data IT talk. Goodbye.